How to go live in under five minutes. Open broadcaster software or OBS as we like to call it is an open source free software that you can use to go live nearly on any platform. This is what you see when you first open up OBS for the first time. First, let's go into the settings here on the right and set up our stream. Let's look at our output first. This is the most important area to look at for producing a quality stream. If you want to stream at 1080p and 30 frames per second, you need an upload speed of approximately 3.8 to 7.4 MB per second. If you plan to stream games on YouTube or on Twitch, you need an upload speed between 5.6 and 11 megabits per second, which means you can have your bitrate between 5,000 to 8,000 KB per second. If you're a gamer with a slightly slower connection, you should move all this to 720p at 60 frames if you can't use it at 1080p. Remember that a lot of your audience is watching you on a cell phone anyway so make it the best connection possible don't stress too much about the quality the most important thing is you don't want your stream to buffer at all because this will definitely hurt your viewership next select your encoder if you're using a pc with an nvidia graphics card then use the nvenc encoder otherwise select x264 which is a decent encoder by itself set your audio bitrate to 160 and your encoder preset to very fast this will give you quite a good quality image but it will also not tax your computer CPU too much so the output is fairly decent and balanced. Now let's go into the video settings tab and set up our canvas. The canvas size should be set up at the resolution that we decided what you're going to be streaming at when we did your upload speed. Here we can set up the frame rate that we decided either 60 or 30 depending on what you want to accomplish. Now the last thing that we need to do is set up a connection to the platform we want to stream on. So go to the streaming tab here, click on the service drop down, select the service you want to stream to, Twitch or YouTube gaming. Under server for YouTube, select primary. For Twitch, you can leave it on auto and it will select the best local server for your stream. Next box is the stream key. Your stream key is the final piece of puzzle. You can find this on both YouTube as well as the Twitch dashboard. Now on YouTube, you can go to the top right corner, hit this little camera and select go live. Now, if you've never streamed before, a new pop-up shows up asking you when you want to go live. We'll hit start right now since that's the plan. Next, we'll select an external streaming device since we are using OBS. Now on the new page at the bottom right, copy the encoder stream key and paste it in the stream key box back in OBS. For Twitch, log in and click the icon in the top right, select settings, then select channel, then videos, the stream key as at the top. Copy it out and paste it in the stream key box back in OBS. Now we are all set up to stream. Let's create our first scene so we can go live. OBS uses a very straightforward scene structure. Each scene can have different elements like your webcam, an image, and video, any branding, overlays, or even music for that matter. All of which change depending on which scene you want and what output you want to show. It's all interchangeable and that's what the magic of OBS really is. Now it's time to get your canvas set up. OBS naturally automatically starts with a scene created. Right click on it and let's rename it to webcam. Right next to the scene here, we've got sources. This space defines what's in the scene. So first let's add a camera. Here's the interface. Go down to resolution, FPS type. Select custom and select 1920 by 1080 as the resolution. Now hit OK. Now if you don't have a 1920 by 1080 cam, that's fine. 720 it is. Strangely, what you just did also added a microphone, but careful. This is actually using your webcam's default mic. We need to change this. So right click on the camera and select properties. Now scroll down here and check use custom audio device. Here we can see that it is not added the right microphone by itself. So select the microphone we want to use and hit OK. That's it. You've got everything you need to go live all within five minutes. Now you're ready to hit that start streaming button, which will get you directly off to YouTube, Twitch, or any other platform that your heart desires, depending on what you set up, of course. If you want to learn how to do more than just add a webcam and some audio, in the next video, I'm gonna set up a whole stream from scratch. So subscribe to the channel, hit the bell notification. I'll see you in the next one.